Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So today I've got a layout update for you. I always love saying that again. Uh, we're going to start off with my new locomotives. So they are Atlas, uh, Montreal Locomotive Works, or Alco C630s. Uh, I actually had a Bowser variant of this uh, when I was in HO, and I had the two Atlas uh, C424s. Um, they're, they're really great. They look great. I love the look of them. Uh, these showed up on eBay a couple weeks ago. And uh, I kind of eyed them up, but I, I was like, ah, ah, no, I'll wait. You know, I don't need them. But, uh, of course, as I've mentioned before, finding anything in Canadian Pacific, like the CP Rail Multimark scheme uh, in N-Scale has been pretty difficult. Uh, so I waited, and, and they were still up after a week. I made a ridiculously low offer. Uh, so ridiculously low, in fact, that I didn't think that they would accept, uh, but they did, which is great, and I'm very thankful, uh, I had to break the news to my wife, <laughs> but I'm still alive, I'm still here, the trains are here too, so obviously everything worked out good, she's a, she's great, she's good to me. So that's pretty exciting, um, I've got the decoders for those, I already, uh, they already came in. Um, I've had these for about a week. I was going to show them off on GVO After Dark, uh, but unfortunately I didn't make it this month. But I will be on uh, in March, so check out GVO After Dark Thursday, March 26th um, at 8 p.m. I'm also planning to go to the Kingston Train Show, uh, and I think that's in two weeks. Um, I don't remember the exact date, but uh, I'm going to go with Chris, um, and uh, I think... Eminem Rails Mark is going. I don't know who else is going at this point. Um, I haven't really talked to anybody about it. Um, just mentioned that it's coming up, and I was like, I'm in. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, that should be a ton of fun, though. I'm really excited. I haven't been to a train show since I got out of the hobby. So uh, moving on, the biggest, at least to me, uh, well, I guess the, the actual update on the layout is the 2x3 and the 3x3 now have the multi-levels. I think last time it was just a, up to the 2x2 two two and these two. But um, I actually replaced all the topper supports with this 1x2 uh, pine. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. It looks so much better. Um, I was just using some kind of strapping hardboard, the same stuff I have for these legs, and honestly, I'm thinking about replacing these legs now that I've done the topper supports, because it just, it looks better, they're straight, they're not, uh, twisted, they're not all warped, um, and it just looks so much better. Another thing I did, not only, um, so initially, I had all the supports, in the corners on the inside of the module like this and uh, coming down now I had that all the way around but I ended up changing it and going to along the backside outside the modules because I was just losing way too much area for track um, you know when I'm losing about two inches uh, on the back of each module that I can't really use uh, that adds up quick so I decided to change that up and uh, and put them just on the back side uh, outside the module I decided to keep these front ones in because a they're not intruding on any track um, I know scenery wise they'll kind of look meh but I need them uh, and this way I can put, you know, some fascia board, the hardboard down there, uh, along the front and it'll be nice and flush and I'm not going to have to have things protruding out except for the lights and the switches and, you know, the throttle control and st stuff like that. So, uh, all in all, I'm really happy about it. Everything's turned out really good. Uh, there's been some frustrating moments. I'm, I'm definitely not very good with wood. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. How this actually is standing here, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I did have all the inclines and switches um, kind of set up, but as I've been working, I just kind of cleaned everything up. Um, 
and uh, I can't wait to continue corking and kind of just get everything um, moving forward. I, I lost a lot of time waiting for wood. I kind of kept planning, oh, I'm going to go get wood, I'm going to go get wood. I uh, never did. And that really hindered my progress. But now that that's done, uh, there's still a couple of things to button up, but uh, I need to decide if I'm going to keep the legs or if I'm going to change them out. If I'm going to keep them, I, I need to cut them and put the wheels on. I've got the wheels from Princess Auto there. Um, just little things like that, but I can at least now, now that I know the bench work is done for the most part, I can, I can move forward with track things with, you know what I mean? Cork and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm really excited to get moving on this, um, kind of thing. I tend to, uh, to burst for a couple of days and, and take a week off, like do a lot on the weekends or, you know, a couple weeknights and then take the weekends off or something. So it's looking great. I'm loving it. I'm glad to be back. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully I'll make another video before the Kingston train show. But if not, I will make a video about that. Sorry, that's the automatic cat litter that is squeaking. Um, but yeah. Uh, and again, hopefully I'll make a, another video before GBO after dark. If not, uh, check it out and I will be there this month. Hopefully weather permitting, uh, I do have to commute an hour, so typically if things don't look so good, um, I prefer to come home and uh, and plow and, and snow blow my driveway so my wife can get out and I can get to work the next day because I don't typically get home and get into bed until past midnight when I do GVO after dark and I gotta be up at 6. Uh, and I, I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap on that note. I'm gonna wrap that up. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, and uh, everybody's just really supportive. Uh, the comments, the criticisms, the suggestions, just everything. Um, really appreciate it, and I'm glad to be back. Uh, keep your eye out for another video. Hopefully, uh, in a you know little bit, I'll uh, I'll have more uh, to show you. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment criticism, suggestions, questions down below, and until next time, don't forget, never forget to enjoy your bacon.